Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for being here. So I'm about to make a, I would say quick meal, but this is something that you can do anytime, but I'm definitely probably gonna do these. Definitely probably gonna, how that sound? I'm gonna do these, um, but I'm gonna do the Philly cheesesteak ones for Super Bowl. But this one right here is a knockoff of the Applebee's wonton tacos but i'm doing them as egg rolls i've done this video before so i'm not going to do a lot of talking in it but i will make sure i put the ingredients in the description box y'all so before i start if you are new to my channel thank you for being here if you are returning thank you for coming back and if you are undecided go ahead and like this video all of y'all like this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not joined the family. Turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I upload a video. Whew, that was a lot. So, let's get started. First and foremost, I'm out of olive oil. So, I'm just going to coat my skillet with some olive oil spray. So, this is ground chicken. I will also be using soy sauce, red wine vinegar, and pure sesame oil. I will be doing a coleslaw also to go in this. So the first thing you're gonna do is brown your meat. Chop it up as fine as you can because you want to spread it out to as many egg rolls as you can. And I have my egg roll wrappers also right here. And turn this heat up to a medium high. And it doesn't take that long to ground. This is ground chicken, so it doesn't take that long to brown it, that is. I don't really have measurements for this. Um, this is just something that I was looking up a long time ago and now I make it all the time. So I really don't measure anything, but I eyeball it because it's all to taste and how you want it. Oh, and I am drinking in my nice little glass some strawberry margarita you can see that so we're gonna let that brown while that's browning i'm about to cut up some of this red onion and i'm just gonna add that to my slaw i don't normally <coughs> oh that wine I don't normally do that. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all something. I have a dicer, but I still love to just cut my own stuff. That's just extra stuff you gotta clean. So usually when I want it fine, I'll just go down, space it half inch, like that. Do the other side, same way, half inch. So you loop the other line. Then you're gonna go diagonal, half inch. You might already know this, and you might not. So for the ones who do, this is really for the ones who don't. And then I just go straight down, and it keeps me from having to dice into small chunks and just break up just like that. And I don't have to do all what I'm about to do to this one right here. I love onions, y'all, so. So I'm gonna show you how fun I have it. That's how small it is in there. And I'm still chopping as I go. I'm gonna turn it down so that I can focus on doing um, 
coleslaw, which takes no time at all. And you're just using this stuff right here. Well, not the sesame. The sesame, I forgot y'all, let me show you. Forgot I gotta add my sesame. The sesame, I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's probably about one tablespoon, maybe one and a half. And you just wanna coat the meat in it. And it has that, oh my gosh, that um, Asian flavor, I guess into my i'm gonna try not to make this a long video y'all but i apologize if it becomes long um somebody opened this and it probably was my daughter when she um made her a hot dog like i love going to the um Chinese restaurant and getting my egg rolls. My kids, they have a favorite Chinese restaurant and so do I. And it's called Number One Chinese Restaurant. And we just love their food. So I'm gonna add these onions, which I never do. I think I'm gonna add the rest over here. And we're gonna see if they like the taste of that. <laughs> So this is soy sauce. I'm gonna put a little soy in your life. Add a little bit to my meat. Now we're gonna do some red wine vinegar. I won't be putting this on the meat. This will just go in here. Once I taste it, then I'll know for sure. And then I um add my secret ingredient. You know you're asking yourself, what's your secret ingredient, Tommy? Well, let me tell you. Four teaspoons sugar. Give me a break. You gotta have it because you have that tartness from the coleslaw and I don't like tart coleslaw. So I'm gonna taste it after I give it a good mix. Cut that down a little bit more. But yeah, y'all, this right here, my husband loves this too. I'm trying to be bougie. You opened my coleslaw? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You say yes? Yeah. You know what I had it for? No. Now you do. It's enough. It's not going to be enough to have like on the side how we usually do it. So this looks fine now. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. take our egg rolls and we're gonna get started egg rolls are pretty simple to make you just need I use water some people use egg to seal theirs with I use water so you can see it I'm open it so, I so I was gonna do the air fryer but and I know I should, because it will be much more healthier. But, I'm not going to do that today. Okay, let's turn it on. Tiana went to go get me 
a couple of um, while she's doing it, I'm gonna go ahead and start. She wants to get me some grease, y'all. So, first things first. I need something to put it on when I'm done. Normally, I will let my coleslaw marinate for a good 20 minutes, but then it'll be soggy. And I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna do it this way so it's not soggy. So my hands are clean. And all you're gonna, well, you can't see what I'm doing. Can you see it now? Can you Thank see you it now? Oil. Thank you. So this is why you have a prepper pantry. Cause I would have been like, oh, I gotta run out to the store and get some doggone oil. <laughs> So I tend to put my hand in the water, go around the edges, I turn mine this way so it's diagonal, the ends are pointed to me, and out that way like a diamond. Then I take, I'm going to change the spoon so I don't put too much meat in it because I don't put a lot of meat in mine y'all put a little bit of meat take a little bit of slaw and you're just gonna bring this end up that end up then grab the end in front of you bring it up like an envelope and just roll it out as they say, walk it out. Now you can do, um, sometimes I double my egg roll wraps for a little extra crunch. Or if I tear the egg roll wrapper, cause they are sensitive. Um, they need to get out their feelings, y'all. They really do. So, you can see how thin it is. You can like kind of see, you can see my hand. So that's how thin it is. Remember, like a diamond, just like Rihanna said. And then I'm gonna take some slaw. I don't use a spoon to get my slaw, I apologize. Sometimes I do the edges before I put the meat on. Sometimes I do the edges afterwards. It does not matter when you do the edges, as long as you do your edges. Cause you know, you gotta take care of, you guessed it, your edges. So yeah, it don't take that long to do, to make egg roll. Um, I saw, who did I see today? Gosh, I can remember the name of her channel. Y'all gotta forgive me, my brain. If I don't write it down, I will forget it. I don't know if that's the loopy fog from having lupus or I just can't remember nothing. What's her name? Oh, I'm about to forget, see? Cause it's not in front of me cause I have, I don't want to reach in front of like this in my whole video. They're not all going to be the same size because you're not going to have the same amount in unless you're using a precise measurement. And even then it still won't be the same. I saw someone do an egg roll today. I'm gonna have to look at my history because I'm like, I definitely want to do that. It looks so good. And I never thought to do that in an egg roll. I'm just gonna tweak what they did and add something else to it though, make it my own. 
and see how easy it is it's not as complicated like i used to think it was complicated um a few years ago before i started making these um, this one's not gonna have a lot of meat in it well it's gonna have about the same amount of meat so that's done remove that Because, you know, I'm good for burning up an eye cover. I burned up the last one. That's why I got them new ones. I'm trying to make a country look on my... Girl, what are you doing? Okay, so they're ready to go in to the grease. So, um, let me show you. Hey, y'all. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. I got 16, so it's, it's only three of us here. Ooh, my grease might be too hot, y'all. But it ain't gonna take but a little second to cook. So I'm only gonna do two, and then I'm gonna take them out. They cooking too fast, but they but they brown though. They brown, y'all. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Let me put them right here. I gotta get my. I didn't have time to get my um set up together, y'all. Shouldn't have did that. Don't do that. So I'm gonna show you the good, bad, and the ugly. show you the good bad and the ugly we're gonna put them right on over there so i think my grease has calmed down some i hope don't look like it did get how fast that was but don't have your grease up that high i forgot to turn it down it's down now though they usually be a good little golden brown. I don't want to burn them up. Everything's done on the inside. So all you want to do is brown it and pull them out. I can tell you what that looks like. <laughs> She's doing so much. So we're going to get these situated. So I can get me a thumbnail. I need the best thumbnail, but it's going to be one. So. Uh -uh. About to cuss. About to cuss. About to cuss. Some light. I didn't realize it was that dark, y'all. Ooh, grease in my hand. So, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I decided to keep the bloopers in. And please give it a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And thank y'all so much for being here. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be.